just want to show you something interesting. Uh, I have a Husky 8 gallon and a Cobalt 8 gallon air compressor. They're both 150 PSI, um, 1.8 horsepower. This one is 3.7 SCFM at 90 PSI on the box. This one shows four, so a little bit more. But let's say you're working out in the yard. I have a 10 gauge extension cord coming out here, 50 foot. As you can see, it is way beefier than a normal extension cord you'd have laying around the house. So it should be plenty of power, right? Well, I'll show you what's gonna happen. Um, I have both these sitting at, look, this is about a little over 75 PSI and the same with this one. So let's say you go to turn this on. <coughs> Turns on fine every now and then, but look. You hear that? About half the time you try to turn it on, it locks down. It ain't got enough power going to it. Look, now nothing happens. So, I noticed this when I was out here using some uh, tools. And I would be running the Husky. And whenever it would try to kick back on, nothing. Just dead. So, uh, anyways, that's why I went out and bought this cobalt to see if there was a difference. And let's connect the cobalt to the same power cord. Every single time, no matter what. And I can even take this, like I said, this is a 10 gauge, 50 foot. I will even show you a 16 gauge 100 foot that is cheap, cheap, cheap and cannot handle that much power. Uh, I'll plug that into here and we'll see what happens to her. Husky. Like I said, this is a hundred foot, sixteen gauge. Nothing. Um, besides that, I will say this gets hot as hell. You don't have to worry about that on the cobalt. Um, the cobalt is a little bit more expensive. I, this is normally one thirty nine, I believe. I got it on sale for ninety nine bucks. The cobalt I got for $159. I'm gonna take this back to Home Depot because of these problems that I'm having. Um, another thing that I like about the cobalt, which I'll show you here, I'm gonna release all this pressure from this line. And let me release all the pressure from this line. Okay, we're down to zero. So on the Husky, it's normal. You know, you have to pull this back and press it in. Not a huge deal, but this is super nice on this Cobalt. All you have to do is press it in there and it's locked. Then when you want to pull it out, you do that. But to put it in there, all you have to do, press. Super easy, one-handed. Bam, done. So I'm gonna end up taking this Husky back to Home Depot because these problems that I've been having. Uh, I mean, it's it works good if you're not using any kind of an extension cord. I mean, it needs it needs a ton of power to run it correctly. This is interesting. You hear that? I have it directly plugged in to a wall socket, and it won't turn on. Um, this is actually I had bought one of these, and I thought because it was doing the same exact thing. Every now and then it'll turn on just fine and then it'll stop and it just won't, it, it'll struggle and it'll just completely stop running for like 10 minutes, you gotta let it sit. Well, I thought I had a bad one and so I took it back and I exchanged it for this one and this one's doing the same thing. And like I said, I had this directly plugged into my wall socket right there. No extension cords or anything. So, um, yeah, I would not recommend this Husky at all. I'm going to take it back to Home Depot.